The Croods is a 2013 American computer animated adventure comedy film produced by DreamWorks Animation and distributed by the 20th Century Fox. The film stars the voice of Nicolas Cage and other famous actors. The movie is set in a fictional period similar to the Pliocene era. The Croods is the name of a prehistoric family. This family consists of six members, a husband and a wife. Their daughter is a teenage named Eep, her younger brother, then a baby girl, and finally the old grandmother, the father's mother-in-law. The Croods family struggles for survival. The family goes out at the dawn of the light to search for food, and the rest of the animals struggle to obtain it, so that everyone takes what is available to fill the hunger. Then they rush to the cave in another struggle to escape from the wild animals that want to devour them. To sleep close together, the father embraces them all after counting them with the number from one to six until another round of light dawn, searching for food, then struggle to obtain it, as well as fleeing from predatory animals to the cave and closing its door. And finally, the father counted them to reassure that the number is six. Then they sleep in an embrace father for another cycle in the struggle for survival. The father used to tell stories to his family when hiding in the cave until they sleep. These stories carry the father's point of view or worldview in life, and its summary is as follows. Every attempt to discover anything new is a greater danger and exposes us to predation. The cave is the only safe place. No exit from the cave except when the signal is heard from him only. The cave, the cave, the cave is the only place that provides safety. Therefore, the father advises them to always have fear. Without fear, we lose vigilance and cannot survive. If you want to live, you have to follow the laws of survival. The father tells them before bed a story of a person full of curiosity and passion. Suddenly, he sees the beast in front of him, and he dies from fear and panic. The family sleeps on the father's stories, which prove his point of view in life. And in the background, the sounds of wild animals outside the cave increases their conviction of the father's point of view. Ip, the teenage daughter, loves her family, but she is distinguished by her dislike of the cave. She is full of passion and curiosity. She looks forward to life and rejoices in the light. She was not afraid to try to find out. One night, in a rare exodus outside the cave while everyone was asleep, she reversed the father's commandments. Eep sneaks out when she sees a light and encounters an inventive modern human boy named Guy and his pet sloth Belt, who have made a torch. And after a set of beautiful animated cartoon film breaks, that depicts suspicion of his stranger and even conflict with him because he is from outside the cave, so he is bad and dangerous. Ultimately, however, Eep finds that this young man is different. He basically differs in his outlook on life or worldview compared to that of her father. This young man protects himself to survive in ways that don't lose him the enjoyment of life and an inspiration for something he calls tomorrow. Guy leaves her a shell horn to blow if she needs help. The family walks up. They don't find the girl. They are terrified, and they all start to search for her. The girl appears with the shell in her hand, and when she blows into it a sound that terrified the whole family, they destroyed the horn out of fear of the new. The story brings us to a serious accident that forces the father and his family to change their way of life, where a strong earthquake occurs that destroys the cave, their main source of protection and safety.
and they are forced to get out of it. The family is shown the beautiful nature outside the cave, so Eep exclaims, dashing with the splendor and beauty of what she sees, let us go. The father hands tightly grasp her and prevent her from going, and begins counting the family from one to six to make sure that the number is complete. Here the father declares, we must find the new cave. And when the young man appears as a result of hearing the sound of the shell, the father confines him because he is strange and anything strange is dangerous and unreliable. The young man screams from his prison cell, let me go, I have a dream. Here we find conflict between the point of view of the father and the young man. For the young man says that he can go anywhere in the world except for the edge of the chaz, which may represent places known to be dangerous. That is, we don't go to the destruction and we know how dangerous it is. The family is forced to march in search of another safe place, taking the young man locked in a hollow trunk of a tree. Here, the film shows fictional movie scenes of beautiful nature and the young man leadership of the family despite his imprisonment in order to overcome the difficulties of the road. On the way, a volcano erupts violently and threatens all of their lives. So another cave appears to them. The father cries, everyone is running into the cave. Here comes the top of the story, in Eeps refusing to go and shouting insistently to her father saying, that wasn't living! That was just not dying! There's a difference! The danger of the volcano increases, and the family is forced to flee quickly, and they are surprised by their arrival to the edge of the cliff. And in the same way the father tries to find place to hide, the young man cries out to the father, offering his view of life in a time of danger and despair of salvation. Don't hide! but live. Like all other films, the film comes to a moment of total despair and hopelessness for survival. The father speaks in a moment of inspiration as if a huge and sudden change has occurred in the depths of himself, and he cries out, We will not hide anymore. We will not go to the cave. Let us go to tomorrow. It is an opportunity. Let us seize it. And he addresses the young man, Take us to tomorrow. The film ends like most films, with the father saving the entire family after moments of despair. But with a change in his view of life, we cannot survive only by running away from the dangers and challenges of life. But we take life and live it as it is with all its difficult times or happy times. The end. Dun, dun, dun. If you weren't clued in by the suntans and pets, we're not exactly cavemen anymore. <laughs> oh, let's do it again. I think I blinked. Dun, dun, dun.